What is good? We're back. Just a little studs versus studs. Came away with a couple of must starts. Wanted to summarize those just in case you didn't watch or if you want to get a little primer for what happened in there. Just going to summarize it real quick. Got the full tripod. We're all wearing the same thing. So, you know, it's the same recording time. Talk about duds. The Talk craft about. beer. Pop. Mm. Got our guy, Matt Foreman. We got Jason S. Doesn't like his government out there. Jay Wayne. <laughs> yeah, fuck my government. Uh, I am Casey Myers. That's my government. Yeah, uh, mm. you, yeah, my government's pretty pretty out there. Well, let's go. Um, all right, so we got some five <laughs> five must starts. Cause how much time you got, buddy? Down my plug. Did you mean to hit both of those? No, they kind of played. They did. <laughs> a, a happy accident. That's what my parents Fat called me. Fat fingers. All right, let's happy go. accident. <laughs> I was probably. I, no, I turned out to be a happy. It's accident. no coincidence that they were married, uh, right very, around, very close to around the age that I am. So, all right, who's number one on our must start <laughs> list? <laughs> all right, number one, CD Lamb seems obvious, but it's it's probably not right now. Fire him up. People yeah. are are panicking. Um, wasn't good last week. Wide receiver 75, 4.9 points, but 11 targets. A lot of targets. A lot of targets. So that's up there. You'd like to see a little bit more. You know, I'm maybe slightly down on CD dynasty wise, just a little bit. We got to see him bounce back. And you're saying, hey, well, it wasn't good with Dak. So now we got Cooper Rush coming in. Only sample we have with Cooper Rush is eight targets, six receptions, and 112 yards last year versus Minnesota. I believe that was week eight. Um, so fire up CD Lamb this week. Put him in and just set it and forget it. That was Ron Co. Was that a... Ron Papil. Yeah. yeah. At least I love that infomercial. Oh, love it. Yeah. That late night, 3.30, just bugged me out. Just that crowd. That crowd was wild. I don't know what <laughs> you're talking about. Rotisserie chickens for days. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. So CD Lamb, number one. Everybody's on board with CD. Yeah. Toads and goats. Yeah. All right. Number two. Number two. Michael Thomas. Yep. Fire him up. Fire him up. So he was on our stud list, and the stud list was composed of guys who were, you know, not high draft picks necessarily, so maybe wouldn't have to be in your lineup every week. But what you just saw was old Michael Thomas battling through something, a little uh, injury that he's had for the last year and a half, and then a hammy coming into this. Yeah. But still wide receiver 8, 22.7. Jameis wasn't scared um, to, and to lim- go to him. limited uh Slightly limited on snaps as well, too. So Right. So you would assume that that'll continue just to rise and rise where he's pretty much always out there unless he's hurt. Back to can't guard Mike. He looked like the Mike Thomas of old. Right. Yeah. And, you know, I, as Jameis is, is, will target you to death to his own detriment. Um, sure. So, you know, yeah. another big must start for us, Michael Thomas. Yep. Yep, he was out there on 37 of 61 snaps. Right, so not even the full complement of what you want to see. If you, yep. you know, I think we'll maybe we'll be if we if he's if he can stay healthy, maybe we're back into the 50s in this yep. uh, go around. And then here. we'll probably go to almost full. Right, going forward. Um, so I really like what we're seeing there. Um, next on the list, who who you guys got next? I think we got um, uh, Allen Robinson still. Allen F. And Robinson. A lot of people are probably saying, hey, can't do it. Well, with the must start, the five top must starts, you got to go out on the limb a little bit. Can't okay? just be Justin Jefferson, Devontae Adams, Cooper right. Cup, Cooper Cup, Saquon Barkley, Saquon. Put him in that list. Yeah. You can't just, you can't just give you the Travis obvious Kelsey. thing. So we're going out yeah. on a limb here. A Rob. Was open all day during that game. Pretty much played every snap but two, I think. Right. Um, They're going to grease him. They're going to fleece him. They're going to throw him some bones. They don't. They don't. They They need another guy. Right. Not a whole lot of Stafford going on throughout the offseason. They don't play their starters throughout the preseason. And if you go back and look, our our side of the table sees A Rob as being open quite a bit. Uh, there was some pushback from that from other people, but idiots. Most of the interweb was saying like, "Hey, on a, on a large percentage of these snaps, A Rob was uh, open uh, and and open enough where a couple of them just like Stafford rolling to the right, 
a rob coming to his right and like how that wasn't even a completion was was mind-boggling how he doesn't even see him there so i feel like that's something mcveigh's a good adjuster adjuster uh, even on cooper g- cup's touchdown the ridiculous catch right. he had to make in the corner end zone Allen robinson standing there wide open right so i think big big adjustment here gotta uh, get that gotta get that pass blocking figured out yeah we'll be all right if uh, uh cam Akers could f- help out with that area <laughs> I roll for Matt. Matt's tired of it already. So it's going to be a long season. He just hates Henderson because take lock. You got to you gotta drop it. Listen, these Henderson's are our five good. must starts, not our five maybe starts. Mm. Uh, so let's go, look Cam go check out, out of here. Studs versus Duds. Sure Who's next on did. this list? Who's next? You I get, don't know. You I'm, guys, this is like. I'm doing like eight things. Just, just oh, your boy. Just, just read this it is, off. This is you. Let's let's What's, seed the floor. What was the, what was the thing that you said in the mirror? Bloody Mary? A bunch Bloody of times. Bloody Mary. And then they. Bloody, yeah. This is like that. You guys don't want to say it. Scared she's going to pop up behind you. Put his BBC on you. Oh. Bloody. Conf- m- confirmed? <laughs> Mary. Mary of. Was that of what it was? The Bible was it has Mary a BBC. Or what, or what, Bloody what, Mary. It was it? All right. Cordero Patterson. I'd rather have. CPAT. Got to start him. How could you not? Look great. Just. Everybody was a little worried. Hey, he's older. Is he going to pick back up? You know, maybe Algier, maybe Damian Williams. Not, I, you know, I don't think so. Happen. I think I think maybe we'll see some Algier this week. 22 carries for Cordero. And just reasonable amount of targets and just looked very spry. Yeah, for um, sure. No, he looked no, he looked good. And there should be a, a negative game script should should see some targets in the passing game. Right. God, if the Rams it, lose to the Falcons, we're in for the thing. It's going to be town. closer than I think the thing people with, might think. The thing with Patterson is, is you you're kind of in decent shape either way. If it's positive or negative, positive a lot. Of last week, he got 22 carries. Negative, you get a lot of catches from CPAC because one of the options. He's a threat to uh, for a 50 yard catch, right? You know? Yeah. So for me, there's not a whole lot of options. I'm starting over Cordero Patterson this week. So fair. on the it's must fair. start list for me. If you go back and listen to the Studs and Duds episode, Casey Hot and Heavy Woo! or Cordero. Let's go. Let's ride. <laughs> Patterson Country, let's ride. <laughs> Patterson Country, let's ride. Let's ride. All right. Uh, who's the last one on the list here, boys? Uh, the thigh master himself, AJ mm. Dillon. Country roads take me home. Yo, did you see that DJ Khaled and Kanye West just jamming out to that song? Mm-mm. It's a classic. I mean, how could you not? Bob. So, why are we why are we firing AJ Dillon up this week for for the must start? He just looks he's so good. Just looks so good. I can feel it down in my plums. I like it, you. Also, that is there is there any more to it than that? Was it the fact that he outperformed? Yeah, yeah. AJ or uh, sure. Aaron Jones Wait, in the passing. 105? Yeah, in your thigh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a brunette. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just because. Um, it's because. All right, fine, fine. I'm 127. <laughs> this is out of Don't get to drop that very often. I don't even know why. We need to dial this in. We need some different ones, some more. Yeah, yeah. we do. Maybe like a vindicated one. Yeah, I need a bigger board so I can. This is the, do this is the bigger do. stream deck. Yeah, this is like the BBC the, of stream decks. The stream what? Stream deck. D E C K. I think you might have had an deck. I in there the first time. Yeah. Living but no. The, living the stream. Yeah. Deck. Yeah. Shout out JJ Zachary. It's an awfully big deck you have there. Listen, AJ Dillon. Yeah, gonna. I I feel <laughs> feel it. Gonna be heavy in the red zone. Packers out for out for blood this week, trying to get back on track. Five catches for forty six yards and catching that bitch in stride, looking like a a receiving back out there. Playing the Bears, the Bears, and he's got two running backs on each leg. Like he's he's he certainly does. He looks so, fucking awesome. Aaron Jones played sixty one percent of the snaps. Is that does that concern you at all? No. Only five carries though. Three or five targets. You gotta, you gotta. Uh, it's not the last game of the season. You can't. You can how, hold how, some what things back of now. Snaps did Dylan play like fifty. AJ Dylan fifty one snaps, ten carries. Yeah, fifty one percent. Six targets. Yeah. Yep. 
So that they're on the field together. Thirty-seven percent. They they got to put them on the field together. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Matt's had enough. He's ready to get out of here. Um, it was the it was the hand motion I- over there. IDP guys. IDP guys. <laughs> this, all right. So to recap, the five must starts for us: C.D. Lamb, Michael Thomas, Allen Robinson, Allen Robinson, <laughs> Cordero Patterson, and A.J. Dillon. Red zones. Passing attempts, rushing attempts, going to get it all Plums. from A.J. Dillon. He, look, he looked really good week one. Uh, they're going to need to use both of those guys. Yeah, especially, especially no Lazard. With, it seems like maybe well, no they, Lazard they should again. I'll use him with Lazard anyways. Right, right. Lazard um, doesn't have a bearing on A.J. Dillon for shouldn't, me. Shouldn't, shouldn't. No, I'm just saying. All right, let's wrap it up. Let's get out of here quick and easy. Let's not get too carried away with anything else. Um. So are you starting Daryl Henderson this week or no? Probably not. Okay. Unless I'm desperate. All right. How about Jeff Wilson? He doesn't have Daryl Henderson anywhere. I don't have Daryl Henderson. Exactly. That's the problem. But he's so cheap. How about how about Jeff Wilson? Must start? No. Not oh, for is me. Is he either. on this fucking list? No. 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 I'll just throw Yeah, you, you leave. You don't play the music. You leave me some airtime. I'm going to fill it up. You know what, what? I do. Fine. Boom. Jeff right. Wilson, not a must start. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment below. We're going to be hitting you with all this kind of stuff throughout the season. Monday, live stream, 930, recapping every week. And then we'll hit you with some extra episodes throughout the week. So be sure not to miss any of that. Patreon, $5 holler. Get you the Discord. Some extra episodes here and there. You get to chat with us and the rest of the guys in the Discord. We did so, we did a watch party on Thursday during the game. Let we got some new content coming up, too. In. We got all sorts of new content coming up. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Got your guy Riley possibly hopping on, doing some college scouting for us. Oh yeah, gonna have oh, our guy Angelo on at some point. Gonna get J Mike in the, involved here. Uh, you, so, I mean, uh, how could you not listen to? J- I mean, I could listen to J Mike literally read the read the dictionary. Yeah, you were gonna say Bible. I right? thought you were I gonna was. say Bible. <laughs> I was. If, if, if I could listen to anyone read the Bible, it would be J Mike. Either way. All right, boys and girls, <laughs> we appreciate y'all. We'll see you next time. We're going to be trying to hit you with some of these shorter videos of waiver wires, must ads, must start kind of stuff. I don't really know why you need it, but apparently you do. So see you next time. Peace.